What's going on, everybody, and welcome to a new segment of Treadkill Radio called Tranquil Quickies, five-minute shows about all the rock news that you want to hear, done entirely by women, not me, <laughs> but Candy Brooks. And longtime fan favorite Michelle Burlingame. You've seen her work with me on a few episodes back in the day. She is back. They're going to be doing this shit entirely themselves. So let's just get it started. Static X, former guitarist Trip Eisen, and Edsel Dope. They are going at it via uh, Internet Wars. Basically. <laughs> so former guitarist for both Dope and Static X, Trip Eisen. And the Murder Dolls. And the Murder Dolls. Yes, I did forget about them because, well... It's easy. Everybody did. Yep. On Monday, he claimed that both he introduced Edsel to Static X as well as pitched the idea of Edsel being the new frontman Zero for the Regeneration Project. He is also claiming that he and Wayne's original work has been used on the entire Project Regeneration Volume 1 that came out on Friday. Tripp was also part of the project until he disagreed with some of the directions they were taking and just kind of backed out, I guess. Edsel also fired back at Tripp for his uh, accusations. We'll get into that in a second, but Trip Eisen, he is not the most trustworthy person, although he is entitled to some of the song credits, the songwriting credits of three of the songs that you can see here in black and white from BMI. He is entitled to those credits for some of the work that was done on this new Static X album, Project Regeneration Volume 1. You know, he's kind of claiming that he is responsible for the whole thing, that he got Edsel and Tony Campos, Campos, right? Uh, uh, sure. Campos, party, yeah. Together and started, you know, saying like, oh, Edsel will be a great singer for you. And, you know, they took a picture, which you can see right here. I know it was all kind of speculation, even though we broke the news at Trend Kill Radio that, you know, Edsel Dope was the fucking Static X singer. I called it a long time ago, to be fair. 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 But anyways, Trip, he's not the most... Uh, Oh, good guy? Yeah. Just to say it in the least. I mean, <laughs> this, you can't really say much about some of the things that he's he's had in his past. He was fired from Static X uh, in 2005 for... Inappropriate contact with children. In 2005, Tripp was actually charged on two separate sexual assault cases involving 14-year-old girls. Also in two different states, California and New Jersey, charges included kidnapping, aggravated sexual assault, luring to entice a minor through the internet, and endangering the welfare of a child. He was actually caught in California in a car with a 14-year-old girl asleep after they had had allegedly had sex. Um, he was actually eventually convicted. He lured me in with promises of candy and funny stories. He was also 39 at the time. Okay, so like I said, that trip, he is uh, alleging that he kind of started this whole thing. He brought Edsel along. He reunited the whole band after uh, Wayne Static had passed away in 2014. This whole thing reemerged in uh, 2016 to start the Project Regeneration. Basically what I've gathered about it is that they didn't want Trip. No matter what he did on previous recordings of uh, you know his guitar work, Wayne Static's vocals, which were which span from numerous demos and stuff like that from all over his entire career. So uh, they just went like, no, you're not a part of this. So without further ado, uh, Edsel, all in one day, Trip Story came out on the 14th, and Edsel later that day he took to Facebook and he motherfucked him like real hard and i'm going to read this entire quote in its entirety because it is that fucking good i really love it and edsel gave him the business <laughs> he, gave, he gave him the shocker he gave him the business <laughs> he gave him everything uh, edsel dope goes on to say quote fuck you you two-time convicted sex offender piece of shit keep my name out of your talentless mouth I fired you 20 years ago because you are an egotistical, low-talent idiot, and Static X fired you more than 15 years ago because you were a 40-year-old creep who was arrested for having sexual relations with multiple 14-year-old fangirls. Deplorable! You have not progressed in the least bit, not even after spending two separate stints in jail. You are an antagonist who paints himself as the victim. Boo, who, and fuck you. Meanwhile, you have never even apologized to our metal community for betraying all of our trust by preying on young, impressionable fangirls for your own selfish perversions. And now you are trying to attach your name to an incredibly well-orchestrated memorial slash tribute that you had absolutely nothing to do with. Get the fuck out of here. For your information, Wayne and I had a very pointed discussion about you on while on tour in 2014, so I know exactly how he felt about you. 
Wayne fucking hated you, and he had no interest in ever associating with you ever again. You've been begging for people to pay attention to you and your new band for three years, attempting to tie yourself to virtually everything Static X or Dope does. Hashtagging Dope, Static X, and the Murder Dolls in virtually every post. After all that, you have managed to gather roughly 1,000 followers in total. Series of LOLs. It's over, dummy. You will always be known as that 40-year-old creepy guy with Lee Press on dreads who targeted <laughs> underage fangirls for sex. That is not my opinion. This is a fact, and it is a public record. Charges were filed against you in two separate states for kidnapping, endangering the welfare of a child, aggravated sexual assault, and luring to entice a minor through the internet. You were arrested and sentenced. Game over. I hope that ICP and all the juggalos across the world are reading this and remember who you are, what you did, and why you've ended up crying on the sidelines. I am so down with the clowns, and I so hope that the juggalos are listening. Edsel Dope. Run a little side fact just real quick. I uncovered a story uh, about a year ago about Davi Vanity from the, uh, what's her? Oh, Blood on the Dance Floor. Um, that he is a total petter ass, alleged petter ass. Excuse me. Uh, I kind of brought that out and, you know, I can't say that I'm the first one to have ever said that. He's <laughs> had a lot of allegations against them. We'll just say that. Yeah, but uh, to, to my point, ICP just recently, just like last week, was like, hey, I want everybody searching for Davi Vanity. Make sure it's him and give him the old juggalo beatdown. Hoorah. Whoop, whoop. And uh, so, so, like, that's become a fucking thing. Who said juggalos were bad guys? They're not. They could be annoying. Yeah. But All they're right. not bad. <laughs> they're go. not bad. Here we go. When you're seventh grade, you're down with the clown. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. But <laughs> talking adults here. All right. But that is the end of this episode. Uh, this is the first Trend Kill Quickie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Go hit us up at Facebook, and um, they're they're gonna get their own like page and all this kind of shit. They're gonna do their own thing. I'm just hanging out for a few episodes. That Be nice is, to me. I'm fragile. That's a death sentence. I'm sorry. It's a death sentence right there. Thank you very much. I'm Sean Ryan, and I'm Candy Brooks. This has been a Trend Kill Quickie. Thank you. Good night.